Hi, I'm Stephen Guarnaccia, and I'm an illustrator and a designer. Uh, I teach at Parsons, the new school for design in New York, uh, in the illustration program, where I was the director for seven years. Three years ago, I guess, I was on sabbatical from my teaching position and spent a lot of time uh, daydreaming, trying to make a book, not making a book. And I found that I kept drawing over and over saws and hammers and shoes and ties and shirts. The more that I, I uh, drew and the more ideas I had of how to combine these objects together, I realized that all of these objects were, belonged to my father. Almost all of these objects were things that existed that were transformed in some way and that worked with words. I, I love working with language and playing with words almost as if they are objects. I also have a long-standing interest in uh, Dada and Duchamp. Even Dada and Papa are kind of the same. And so all of these things sort of came together and it's a big joke that I take very seriously. Yeah. I mean, I think that the most important thing in creating work for children, um, I don't really think you need to imagine what a child needs or what a child wants. I think all of us, and this is something that Maurice Sendak said uh, very often in his interviews, he makes work for the child inside himself. I think that the best children's illustrator writers that I know and that I admire um, seem not to have in mind some idealized child, external child, but really uh, the work comes from an internal place and that's, that to me is, uh, that's my goal. I have no doubt that the book will survive, but I think that as digital media becomes more present, more important, uh, the book's role will become very specialized. For instance, I'm teaching a class uh, in the fall um, called The Book as Object, which will be dealing with the idea of uh, what is the book when we no longer read books, when we're actually reading on digital platforms. How does it change when we work with and design new media. So um, I'm interested in kind of that relationship of uh, not supplanting the book, but how does, the, how does digital media enhance or interact with the book? In 2030, I'm going to read the way I read now, which is, in multi-platforms. Ever, each, each of these experiences is also a very different mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. um, and I wouldn't want to give up any of them. I like the feel of the paper, I like the smell of the ink, I like the way a comic book feels, but I love to uh, you know, go look at web comics and scroll with my finger. So that's what I'm looking forward to in, in 2030. Mm -hmm.